Hello everyone! In my past Java tutorials, we mainly use Swing to create GUI applications. For the next Java tutorials, we will be using Java FX that does the same things as Swing, but better. The company, Oracle, that owns Java is officially replacing Swing with Java FX. This means that Swing won't receive any more new features since their new focus is on Java FX. That's not the only reason why we're moving to Java FX. We're moving because Java FX is easier and requires less code to create GUI applications. In this video, I will show you how to configure Java FX on Eclipse IDE. Be sure that your JDK in Eclipse IDE is up to date. Now let's begin by adding a new Java project. So click on File, New, Java Project. And then I will, I will call mine Tutorial. Then Finish. And then click on this little arrow right here. And then this should drop down. Then you right click on the source file. Since we want to create a, 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 a new class file, I will call my main. Click on finish. And then you, you should have your own class file. Now to configure Java FX, we need to right click on this project folder, click on properties, and then click on Java build path. And then you should be here. Now let's delete this and add a new library. We want the system library and click next. And then we should be here. Now let's click finish. This looked the same before, before I delete the, deleted the other one. So now you know how to add a system library on here. Now for Java FX, we need to add a different library. So add library, user library, and then click next. And pretend that this right here is not here at all because I had to create Java FX user library because I needed to use it to, to create in my own applications before. So pretend that this is not here and click on this user libraries. Now I'll click on new. Oh, before you click on here, neglect this, like I said before, because I had to use Java FX to create my own other applications. So create new and then Java FX. Since I already have mine, I will click cancel, but you click OK. So cancel for me. And now we have Java FX. Now we need to add an external jar. Click on here. And go to where you where where you installed the Java on your computer. I installed my Java under the C directory under Program Files. So once you're on Java folder, you click on JDK, then the JRE, and then the L, the lib folder. And once you're here, you got to find this specific jar which is this. So you click on this and open. Now we have this. Now press OK. And click on this. We want to use this. Then finish. Now we have this Java FX folder. And we have this jar folder or jar file under this Java FX. Now we should be configured correctly. Now, to test this, I'm going to this one website where it has this code, which is this right here, Hello World, from the Oracle website. I will provide a link under my description to this page. So you copy, and p copy this whole import all the way down to this curly brace, and you copy, control C. Oh, and also be sure that you do not, you do not copy this either because we did not create a package at all whatsoever. 
So now you come here, highlight this whole thing, control V, and then make sure you change the class name to main since we, we uh, declared our uh, class file to be main. So click on main and we should be good. And now let's test this. It works. Now this is the new window and this is a button with a new uh, event handler. So once you click here, it, it writes, hello world. So this concludes my tutorial on how to uh, configure Java FX onto your Eclipse IDE. My next tutorial will, te will teach you how to create a basic window like this. So stay tuned for my next tutorial and, and thanks for watching.